Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, we're going to talk about garlic. Uh, what I've been doing is I've been curing the garlic for the last month or so. And I've been doing that indoors inside of these organza bags. They're mesh bags, really nice airflow. And you can hang these up in the house, you know, room temperature, a drier environment, and these guys will cure and dry very nicely. So that's what's happened now a month later is that these guys have cured, they're all ready to go. So what I've been doing now is I've been separating these. I've been also clipping off the tops. You can see the tops are all over here. We're gonna put those down on the ground as mulch. Hopefully have that compost down at some point. But the tops are coming off. And then we're, you could also, I guess at this point, really trim off the roots. Um, it's up to personal preference. Some people even trim off the roots at harvest time. Um, but what we can do now and what you should do is think about the different sizes of the bulbs. Um, we have really small stuff in here that really didn't grow well at all. Um, then you have stuff in this pile over here which isn't going to store well. This, this stuff didn't grow very well. It didn't have the, the exterior um, sheaths, the exterior paper here for it to be able to store well. So we're putting this in a pile that we're gonna use first in the kitchen. Then we have stuff, I guess, that's smaller, a little bit larger, and then we have the largest stuff. This stuff here is gonna be used for next year's planting. These have the largest cloves, they're the largest bulbs. You wanna start off on the right foot. That's kind of why, in part, why I have such small bulbs um, in this particular bag here is that this was a, a reused year after year garlic and it started off pretty small and then we used it again and it was even smaller and now it's even smaller again. So you really want to focus on using only your biggest bulbs, fertilizing them well, really getting a large size because this is what you want. So if you're thinking about growing garlic in the future, get yourself off to a nice start. You really want to make sure that that's key and then over time, these bulbs are going to adapt and they're going to slowly adapt to your climate and they're going to over time perform better, become larger. But for the most part, you don't really want to be using this stuff here. So that's just all we're doing today, guys, is we're separating these out. The next step here is once we get them in these organza bags again for storage is that we're going to put them in the fridge and they want to be kept for optimal storage. You want to keep them somewhere in the fridge around 32 to 35 degrees that is the most optimal for these um, in terms of storage. And then again, these are gonna be used up as quick as humanly possible because they're just not gonna be able to withstand a longer storage. Um, so anyway, guys, that is this little short and sweet video here. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Keeping you guys updated on the garlic, one of my favorite foods. We'll come at you guys again for tomorrow's video. Take care, everyone. We'll catch you soon.